Hi everyone, so we're here in Louros, Lisbon, Portugal for the 5G as a Service General Meeting and we're here now with the coordinator of the project, Elio Simeão from Ubiware. So we're going to ask the last questions uh, pro regarding the project because we want to understand exactly towards who 5G as a Service solution and marketplace is towards. So Elio, we want to understand exactly who are the people that 5G as a service aims to work towards. So can you please explain to us who are the intended recipients of this project results? Of course. So um, we, and we, uh, first of all, we believe that uh, the future will be tailored connectivity. So right now, if you want um, any sort of connectivity from an operator or service provider, you get pretty much maybe a different packaging in terms of uh, megabytes or gigabytes or maybe uh, the number of SIM cards or something. So we believe that we'll go beyond that and we'll go to things like either latency or maybe throughput. So having this in consideration, uh, we envision that our recipients will be first the owners of a network, such as a mobile network operator, an MNO or an, an ultra host, who will pretty much use 5G as a service marketplace to advertise their network, their resources, okay? Uh, so, and then the second key persona that we envision, it's a service provider or an MPNO that can come to the marketplace, see whose network, uh, which network it's available from the operators, and then can choose one and on top of that network, offer a more tailored, in this, in the form of a slice, a 5G slice, a more tailored connectivity to serve the third um, entity or the key third key persona which will be a um, vertical uh, customer which can be for example as we are here uh, in a DSO uh, facility so it can be uh, an energy vertical company such as a DSO so in this sense these are the three main key personas that we want to address in the 5G as a service uh, marketplace and can you please summarize to all of us the how exactly 5G as a service and its solutions will help with the operations to all of these key personas that you mentioned. Yeah, so great question. So basically, uh, we are um, kind of a OSS and BSS platform. What I want to say is this, that we can not only uh, do the provisioning part, but you can also uh, do the payment part. So the billing uh, can go through the system, the 5G system as well, the 5G system. So in that sense, this is how we can connect both supply and demand. And we can offer uh, in a very streamlined way and of course leveraging the, the benefits of blockchain so that all the added security, all the added transparency, so it's, uh, uh, it can, both parties can conduct business in a, in a trustless environment. So uh, you can make sure that, for example, when an SLA condition is inserted in a contract so that if a certain um, threshold of performance drops, you can already prearrange um, a penalty so that as soon as it happens, you know that for sure, for example, your, your provider will either uh, offer you a discount or will... So this is the sort of functionalities that we are exploring and we want to showcase in, uh, in this pilot uh, in launch with the heads and also with all the 5 gas consorts. Okay, thank you so much, Ali, for your answers. And we hope 5G as a service is a success. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>